So there's all this buzz about district manager pace bonus. A thousand dollars a month? You're gonna be one of those managers that put that cash into iPads and class A office space? Or are you gonna be one of those 60 year old millionaires who sit on the beach and play golf for a living? Watch this video and find out how to turn a thousand bucks into a million. Okay, so why do we care about saving a million dollars? No, it's not because we're money hungry. No, not because it makes us feel good. It's because the ability to save one million dollars requires an uncommon amount of discipline and focus. Fact, people with uncommon discipline get to live uncommon lives with unfair advantages. Isn't that why we work here? to become the best version of ourselves? The people that do exactly as I say in this video probably won't save $1 million. They'll probably save 10 million because if you can stay disciplined for six years as a district manager in your 20s, you're gonna stay disciplined in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. Boom. Imagine having $2 million saved up, retiring and living off the interest at a not so risky rate of 4%. You're making a cool 80 grand a year. <laughs> Doing whatever you want. 80 grand a year, laying on the couch. 80 grand a year, working for a nonprofit. 80 grand a year, traveling with your spouse. 80 grand a year. 80 grand a year! Imagine doing that at a relatively young age. We're saving three, five, 10 million dollars? Ladies and gentlemen, your future is in your hands. Disclaimer time. I ain't no financial planner, and I'm not promising you overnight riches. But I know this, it ain't about what you make, it's about what you keep. You want bonus money to be actual bonus money. Not pay off my credit cards because I was a little short last month money. Here's three steps on how to turn pace bonus, a little time, and a lot of discipline into a million bucks in savings. Step one, identify and destroy any and all non-supportive personal financial habits. Overdraft fees, fast food spending instead of grocery shopping, living without a budget. People do that? Using credit cards to fill income gaps. Buying rounds for the bar. I'll make it rain. Keeping up with the Joneses. But I got to impress my girlfriend. Not impressed. And buying expensive coffee instead of brewing it yourself. Sorry, Starbucks. It also means having the discipline to execute three campaigns per year. Every campaign you're out to lunch mentally will cost you one year in retirement. It's called delayed gratification. You wanna blow off a one person interview today or you wanna to go to your beach house tomorrow. Step two, pay yourself first. If you're new to saving money, listen up. Every thousand dollar pace bonus you get, don't just put all of it away in savings, take a little bit of that money out to spend on you. Trust me on this one. My number would be 225 per month. Of that 225, I'd save 150 of it to spend on whatever the heck I wanted. Clothes, shopping, manicure, massage, or save up for something fun. Minus a car because, well, you're a district manager, darn it, and you definitely don't need to save up for that. So spend 150 bucks on you and sock away the remaining $75 for your next vector trip. 12 months of saving, $75 a month, $900 a year, more than enough spending money for vector world travel. Guilt-free spending is the best spending. Don't ignore this step. Not spending any money on yourself is like extreme dieting and exercise. P90X, great in the short term, but I don't know anybody who's done it or will do it for 30 years. Saving money is a marathon, not a sprint. Spoil yourself every month, but set a hard limit. 225 makes the equation work great. And step three, save the remainder. Month in, month out, same amount, without fail. If you're taking my advice from step two, that means the remainder is 775. Let's bust out the financial calculator to prove to you that I'm not just making this up. So just for fun, let's say you've never saved $1 up until this very moment, which means you have $0 invested and you're actually like a lot of people. Let's say you're gonna be a district manager for six years. That's six years of pace bonuses and two super bonuses and probably a few DM promotion bonuses as well, but we won't talk about any of those, just pace bonus. Okay, your rate of return. 
I've seen 30 year projections as high as 12%. Many people say you're safe with 10%. Let's be a little more conservative. Hey listen, none of us can predict the future, but the key here is consistency. Give that 775 every month to your future self, then watch what happens. If you're 25 years old now and you work this plan, the day you turn 60 and it comes faster than you think, ask your parents. You're looking at a cool $1 million. Now that's assuming the only saving you do is on your PACE bonuses during your six year district manager hood. That number gets a lot more exciting if you keep up your new savings habit. What does the fox have to say about that? <laughs> Setting up an investment account and a direct deposit are way easier than you think. Do it your first month as a new district manager because habits are a lot easier to start than they are to change. Where do you invest the money? Talk to somebody you trust. There's plenty of financial intelligence in and out of Vector. The hard part is having the discipline to show up to your savings account every single month. Make easy decisions, life gets hard. Make hard decisions, and life gets easy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're all about at Vector Marketing. Earn it, own it, love it. What are you gonna do right now to set your future self up for a life of awesome?